Hey, what's up everybody? This is Tim Reset from over at eminimind.com. And in this video, I wanted to walk you through how I set up my thinkorswim charts for the intraday breakout trading. Uh, on the upper left here, I just have the indices. Below that, I have the futures. That's just simply a matter of setting up a quote tab and uh, adding in those symbols. Below that, I have the nice tick. Now, that's not really applicable uh, for our purposes right here, but uh, I do have a separate video that talks about setting up just this chart alone. And, but for my main two charts, you notice the screen's black. I have the candlestick charts, uh, candlestick bar charts set up on my screen. And it's a really very simple, clean layout. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is reset my screen. And I'm on the chart tab. And the first thing I'm going to do is go up here to this box, change it to the double side by side. Now you can certainly uh, set it up for the quad screen. You can go to as many boxes and things as you like. But I'm going to use two for our purposes right now. And uh, I'm going to show you a little trick to save you a lot of time with setting up additional screens. So next thing I'll do is click the little wrench up here and I'll turn off the sidebar. We don't need that. can turn off the wrench. And then this left screen I'm going to go ahead and do backslash ES. And on the right I'll do backslash 6E. So that's the e s and p and the Euro. Next I'm going to go to the style tab. I'm going to go down to settings. And I'm going to go to appearance. And for the appearance, the background color, I had that set as black. The upticks, green, downticks, neutral, I don't mess with any of those. If I go over here to the futures tab, I turn off the show volume on the subgraph. And then you can go ahead and uh, hit OK. From there, I'll go back up to style chart type candle and you, we can set that to a five minute chart and I'm actually going to go ahead and go to style intraday five day and set it to a three minute chart and then the last thing we have to do is I like to remove this grid in the back so actually we'll go back up to style and settings and once the settings window pops back up we'll go to appearance common and we'll uncheck show grid and this gives us a little example of what the back would look like so that turns that grid off for us and I guess one other little trick if we go to the futures tab and we go to this show extended session we can click the little arrow to the right that highlights it we'll go ahead and hit OK and what that does is put a little drop down in here it puts it a uh, puts in a quick tab, a shortcut for show extended session, so we can uncheck that. And now what we have is only the trading hours only data. If you want to switch that over, just check the box. But it makes it easy. You don't have to go into the settings tab every time. So now that we have our one chart created, we can simply go to style, save style, and I'll call this one um, black chart. We'll include the study sets. Even though there's no studies, that'll keep all of the settings the same. We'll hit OK. And then we'll simply go to this chart on the right, style. We'll go to load style, and we'll go down to that black chart. And boom, now we have the identical chart that we had on the left, on the right. I'm going to switch this over to a five-minute chart. And now we have uh, back to how the original chart was set up. We can zoom in a little bit and we have our chart set up. Now you'll notice one more thing that the bars go right to the edge on each chart here. So if we go to style settings we can go to price axis expansion area actually we'll go to time axis and expansion area we're gonna set that to we can use 10 bars to the right and watch what happens now we have 10 bars expanded to the right so we have some room between the price 
and the right hand side of the chart. We can go up to save style once again. We can call that black chart, include study set, override that, yes. And then we can just go load that style again, black chart. And now we have some room over to the right of our chart. So if you want to add charts, you simply go up to the grid at the top. You can make it a four box grid. You can type in another symbol, for instance, whoops, I want to go uh, TF, not FT. And we'll go style, load style, black chart. And now we have another identical grid. So if we want to get rid of those two on the bottom, let's go back here, back to two charts. So that's kind of a very simple way that I have my screens set up. And then you save those styles, and you will have those every time that you log in. One final thing you can do is go to uh, Setup up here and save your workspace. And that workspace will be saved. And every time that you log in, your entire background screen, uh, the side panels, and your charts, or any bump out tabs that you have, will be saved. So I hope you found that video helpful and uh, look.